So I got home and this bug started flying around and landed on my light. So I decided <coughs> to get some revenge. But seriously, I have no idea what it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not, huh? Let's see. Alright, maybe not. Alright. It's like yellow. It's like a fly. And a bee. And a mosquito combined. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. But I'm just trying to get. Hopefully, y'all can see the pictures and stuff. But yeah, it's fucking weird. That's all. Alright, I'm here at the Directors Guild of America with uh, Victor and uh, Matt. What up? And uh, just waiting for uh, Roxy to show up. And yeah. also Ty. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Congratulations, Ty. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. It's not actually my movie, I just helped out, but... It's cool. It's uh, my friend Roxy's, but we work together, so... Yeah. Hey, Ty. Uh, Victor here is actually uh, one of the sponsors. <laughs> or uh, him and his sister. <laughs> <laughs> he has a badge and everything. He looks all cool. Look oh, at that. Oh, cool guy. <laughs> Where is awesome. the Kyochan chicken? It's not supposed to be here till 7. <laughs> So I wanted to create a Tarantino-esque film with Gaelic narration and sweeping crane shots with a $15 million budget that would be possible with my $500 budget that went way over budget because that didn't, it was just wasn't possible. So anyways, um, I used to work with uh, students with intellectual disabilities for four years and there's a shot in my film that had a cameo of me doing, <laughs> I'm such a good actor, um, binary code. <laughs> which was what inspired this entire film. And what happened was one time I was working with a student and I think his name was Mark and he was 14. And I was in high school and I looked at him and he, was, he had a stack of papers in front of him and he was writing binary code nonstop, muttering under his breath about, I don't know, like the world ending. And he would write zero, one, 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 zero, zero, zero. And then after he was done with the entire paper, he would push it aside and would fly off the table and he would continue writing. So I sat down with him, I'm like, Mark, well, What's up, man? Like, what are you doing? And he's like, I can't talk right now. There's just too much going on. You don't understand. And then I thought, you know, everybody in their own right mind, and I have a friend, Suj. Suj, what's up? Who works for the Alzheimer's Association and gave me a little bit of insight of, um, he told me, well, you know, people with Alzheimer's, they think they're completely normal. You know, they think, hey, you know, I'm in my house. Why are people coming to my house and telling me that I need a shower? I know how to shower. Why? Why do you tell me, you know, why do you tell me that I don't know how to shower, I know how to shower? So everybody in their own right mind is considered sane. But then I think everyone's crazy. That's why in the end everyone's crazy. <laughs> For my film, it was, um, it was always going to be a very personal story. I started out by just wanting to talk to my dad and just tell his story of coming to America because I thought it was a very powerful um, story to tell. But then in the process of doing so, like I said in the film, I learned a lot more about my family and stuff that were never mentioned at all. So in doing that, the, the story of the film sort of changed. It became much more personal to me and both my dad and my mom, who I'm not very happy about it. But, <laughs> but, but I mean, this is, that was the end result. And it's something that I'm glad that I did because now like a lot of secrets are brought to light and we don't have to hide from each other in the family anymore. So, yeah, thanks to Abe and Kenny and VC for allowing all of us to make something like what you, what you just saw on the screen. And good kids and the ice cream man and, um, is there a hair? and your friends who worked really hard. And my friends who work really, yeah, they're okay. And, <laughs> good kids, yay! We're at the DGA. Uh, we just wrapped up, and uh, there's a pretty chandelier on the other side, right here, yeah, as you can see. And uh, there's Leia, our uh, makeup artist, and then there's Jenny Kwan. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> it's okay. So what'd you uh, what'd you think of your performance? You know, I'm still 
I'm a little bit cross-eyed right now, but I still would like to see it on my own time because I was just like clutching. I, I had not. It was, you know, I, I, yeah. I, if I could have been standing pacing, I probably would have been doing. This. I know. I, I probably would have been too. Yeah. So, but you know, I think overall, I'm. I mean, I'm definitely proud to be a part of this. So. I'll have to watch it again. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Everybody who's had Umami Burger. So, is the food gonna be good here? What? Is the food gonna be good here? I hope so. I've never had this before. First time I'm trying it. I've never had it either. <laughs> Alright, our food just came out. I got the Umami Burger. It looks really good. I wish it was a little bigger, but that's cool. It's cool. What'd you get? I got the manly burger. Onions, cheddar cheese, bacon. And what'd you get? I got the uh, truffle burger. Wow. <laughs> Sloppy. Very nice. And that's the mommy? You yeah. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. And we got our sides, you know, onion rings, sweet potato fries, and regular fries. Yeah. Ain't nothing better. Alright, time to eat.